Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to flash Android M onto your Nexus device using the ADB Fast Boot Flash method. I am assuming that you already have your bootloader unlocked, so if you do not, I will include a video in the description below along with all of the links necessary to gain files for this flash process. Now, first and foremost, you will need to download the Android M preview image from the Google Developer website. This will, of course, be dependent on which Nexus you have, so once you navigate the link accordingly, go ahead and agree to the terms and service and click download. I also want you to create a folder specifically named ADB on your main C drive storage. The reason for this is because you're also going to download a 15 second ADB fast boot installation package. It's a very simple, slim package to install ADB fast boot files you will need to flash your Nexus device. You will also want to download the latest Hell's Core Android M kernel for your device. This will be used to grant you the root access later on. And then I also want you to download the latest TWRP custom recovery image for your specific device. Once you have completed downloading all the files, navigate your way to the ADB file directory and we can start the ADB Fastboot installation process. It's very simple, just select Y and hit enter. You'll also need to install your device drivers, this way your computer can communicate with the Nexus for the flash process. Once everything is completed, it will automatically close the installation process. You will need to locate the Android M image file, which is going to be a .tgz file extension. Right click and extract this to the current ADB directory. Once that is finished, go ahead and navigate your way into the image folder and locate the next.zip file. Right click on this as well and extract it to the current location. Once that has completed extraction, go ahead and delete the zip file and select the remaining files and cut or remove them to the ADB file directory. Once you have moved these to the ADB file directory, go ahead and locate the recovery image and rename it to .back to save it as a backup file. You will then locate the TWRP recovery image and rename this to recovery.image. This will be used to flash TWRP custom recovery over the stock Android recovery later on. Go ahead and reboot your phone into recovery and we'll do one final wipe in advance wipe. Basically wipe everything but the internal storage. The flash method that I use does not wipe your internal data, so I'll leave that option up to you. Now after you wipe, go ahead and reboot your device into bootloader through the recovery. You can now enter command prompt by placing your cursor inside the ADB folder, holding down the shift key and right click your mouse at the same time, then select the open command window here. This will automatically place you into the proper ADB path so that you can execute fast boot commands. Now make sure your phone is currently connected via USB to the computer and you are placed in bootloader mode so we can begin the flash process. Once you are ready, type in the first fast boot command, which is fast boot flash bootloader, leave a space and then go back to your ADB file directory, right click on the bootloader file name, hit rename, select the entire file name, copy it, go back to the command prompt, right click with the mouse and paste, then hit enter. This basically simplifies the process so that you don't have to type it out each time. Once that process is completed, go ahead and type fastboot reboot dash bootloader. This will automatically reboot your device's bootloader so that it is updated to the newest version. Now, once the device has been rebooted into the bootloader mode successfully, we can begin flashing the boot image. Go ahead and type fastboot flash boot boot.image. When that is complete, we can then flash the radio and you can do this by typing fastboot flash radio, leave a space and then go into the ADB file directory, right click on the radio file and rename it, copy the entire name, Go back to the command prompt, right click with the mouse and paste the file name in the command prompt and hit enter. Once that is completed, then we can flash the system image. Simply type fastboot flash system system.image. This will take about one or three minutes depending on the file size and your device. Now once this is completed, we can then flash the last TWRP recovery image. 
Go ahead and do that by typing fastboot flash recovery recovery.image. Once that is completed, we can then boot your device into TWRP recovery. You can do this by typing fastboot boot recovery dot image. Go ahead and hit enter, and this should boot your device into TWRP. If everything was successful, your device should properly boot into TWRP. You can then disconnect your device from the computer. And once you have done this, we will go into factory reset. Once you have factory reset to just make sure everything is fresh and clean, we will then proceed to install the Hell's Core kernel, the Android M kernel for your specific device. Go ahead and add more zips with that, and we'll also select the latest S Super SU update. So we'll flash both of these at once. So once you flash this, you will wipe the cache, and then once you have wiped the caches, then you can reboot the system. Now it is worth noting that if you root Android M, your device will receive a warning splash screen displaying that your device is corrupt. But don't be worried, it is not corrupt. It's just a precaution alerting you that you have altered the image, but it will still boot and it will be fully functional. Now that you have completed the initial boot and Android M setup process, navigate your way to the about phone to confirm you are in fact running the proper Android build and kernel flashed. You can also enable developer options by tapping on the build number. Now, if you want to install BusyBox, navigate your way to the Play Store and search for BusyBox on Rails. Install this specific application onto your device, open the app, grant it Super SU privileges, select the recovery option, install method, and tap install. This will automatically reboot into recovery and install via a script and reboot the phone. The entire process is automated and very simple. The last thing I recommend you download from the Play Store is Simple Reboot by Francisco Franco. This will allow you to control advanced reboots that are not available on stock Android. You can also use it to check the device's root status on the bottom of the application. This is a very simple way to use ADB Fastboot to flash images onto your Nexus device and how to get Android M root with BusyBox. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you had any issues or questions, Feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Definitely leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to show support, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.